So I have way too much time on my hands and I was thinking the other day, since my boyfriend and I both work from home, sometimes we have to get on calls and sometimes I don't want to get up out of my desk to, you know, close the door so I don't have to listen to him. So I wonder if I could make a remote door closer. And I wonder if I could make it out of a toy RC car. This is what happened. I'm sorry. So this is the door that separates my office and our living room where my boyfriend is currently working. Luckily, it's pretty lightweight and I'm not super attached to this door. So at first I thought this would be a really great Arduino project because I had everything. I had servos, I had multiple Arduinos, and then I realized that the radio frequency remote that I would need for this cost about $12. And I realized that a remote controlled car cost $10. So that's where my motivation comes from, because I'm cheap. Nothing special, just a $10 remote control car, takes five batteries. And you're going to need uh, definitely command strips. I found those uh, the easiest to use just because I, I, mean, I don't want to destroy my door. I didn't really want to drill a hole through it. Um, and I got these little hooks. I actually ended up not using the big ones. And the little one I used on the, uh, on the door frame. I will link all the materials used in this experiment below and I'll include Amazon links so you can order everything in one. It's a pretty cool little car. I had a fun time chasing the dog around with it. So first things first, I uh, have to take it apart. This is pretty easy, I just took the body off, two little screws. So at first I thought I was going to be able to wrap the string around the tire. I thought it was going to be sticky enough, but then I found that it tends to get trapped behind the tire. So instead of 3D printing a solution, I decided to, t to super glue pennies to my wheel because I had a bag of 800 pennies sitting around. I don't recommend this, but it worked, or so I thought. On every attempt, I discovered that this creation does not in fact have enough power to close the door, even though the door is super lightweight. That is not solid wood. Puppy tax. And here is attempt number one, failing because it doesn't have enough power. So, Part of the problem too was the string was slipping in between the pennies and then just breaking. So I disassembled a plastic fork to uh, close the gaps and that did not work. So that led me to attempt number two. And this is where I had my big revelation. I took the rim off the wheel and sacrificed an old clicky pen and glued it to the axle. And then I just took a couple of uh, command strips and taped it to the door. My poor pen.
Let me know what you guys want me to make next. I am super bored and I need ideas uh, and I enjoy making this. I still have super glue all over my fingers.